All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And uh, right now, we're going to go for another topic. The best thing that I like about the expo and having conferences like that and presentations up on stage is the uh, multi-international uh, speakers that we have, even national, and uh, the topics that they always have to bring around is always very interesting. So sometimes people talk about crypto, blockchains, they talk about finance, they talk about binaries, they talk about uh, NFTs, they talk about anything. And that's why we're here. We're here to learn in the same time even to educate ourselves and to see where we can really fit in and really somehow invest. Now, um, talking about digital finance, talking about investments, talking about banking, talking about uh, how we can really bring it forward to the market and putting it all together. These are everything that you need to know right now, especially when you have an app that has been released and it could sort everything out. With that said, I would like to invite the CEO of DIFX Limited. Please welcome on stage Mr. Jitu Kataria. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Jidu Gattaria, I'm the founder CEO of uh, DIFX, which is Digital Financial Exchange. Uh, we are a cross-asset exchange. Uh, uh, for me, I'm uh, an H1 trader by profession uh, since last 15 years. I am uh, a venture capitalist since last five years, and since last two years, we are uh, handling the operations of DIFX, which is a cross-asset exchange. Uh, after trading for almost five years on different uh, exchanges, what we felt that there were lots of loopholes on these exchanges wherein if we want the mass adoption and if we want that security of uh, security and trust we need to have an exchange wherein uh, we have all the insurances in place and uh, we have people who are uh, able to adopt the cross asset exchange uh, that's where the inception happened of difx today difx is uh, having two platforms one is the institutional platform wherein we have more than 50 top uh, cryptocurrencies listed and we have an MT5 platform wherein we have 600 assets listed over there uh, ranging from more than 100 perpetual futures of cryptos and more than 500 assets in terms of stocks, indices, commodities and we have more than 18 pairs which are cross asset wherein you can play with Bitcoin and gold, Ethereum, silver and so on. Our main vision was uh, to have a mass adoption in the industry and uh, ha having seen that we have more than 200 million, uh, 200 million users on crypto assets right now trading across the globe. But if I go on the traditional side, we have more than 2 billion users who are trading on multiple assets uh, on stocks, indices and so on. And to bring in these traditional users on the crypto side, we need to have a bridge of cross asset wherein we allow users to shift between these assets seamlessly. That's what we are doing on uh, DIFX wherein we brought in one of the largest custodian in the world, Fireblock, which works on both the platforms, on MT5 and on the DIFX spot platform. And today users who want to trade on the traditional assets on DIFX needs to have the crypto assets if they want to go on the cross asset side. So that's where we feel that going forward, each and every exchange should have these exotic pairings and exotic uh, products to get these mass adoption of cryptos. Uh, we were recently awarded by multiple uh, authorities wherein the cross-asset trading is concerned. We are a fully insured cross-asset exchange wherein each and every wallet of the user is insured by Fireblocks and different institutions. The biggest platform what we launched in this Crypto Expo 2022 is we have launched a nomination program. Uh, when we were trading on these, we were handling more than half a billion dollars asset under management since last three years. And what we have seen that uh, there are n number of large exchanges across the globe, but they don't have any ecosystem that if anything happens to our users or if anything happens to me, where all these assets will go. We have made this nomination program on DIFX live just two days back wherein we are allowing each and every user to nominate their friends, their loved ones, their families and everything is recorded on blockchain and through that they can have an easy nomination program and each and everyone can come and claim if anything happens to the user. 
you can go on DIFX exchange and we have full article on that, uh, that how this work. We were yesterday covered by Cointelegraph wherein they wrote the whole article on DIFX that how this has solved the problem wherein 89% of the crypto users voted last year that uh, they were concerned about the assets lying on these exchanges that what will happen to these assets if anything happens to them. We are trading on cryptocurrencies, commodity, forex, options and stock derivatives. Uh, in coming uh, two quarters, we will be shifting all the assets which are there on MT5 platform on the institutional platform and user will have an option to choose either the traditional way of trading or they have the one platform wherein they can trade spots and uh, traditional assets in a single platform fully insured with nomination program. Uh, I think the biggest talk of the town right now going on is uh, how the regulations will work going forward on these exchanges. We have seen uh, lots of different countries, European Union coming out with full set of regulations on uh, how the anti-money laundering will work. They have recently came out with the sixth anti-money laundering uh, derivative wherein how these regulations will work wherein the centralized exchanges are concerned and wherein the wallets are concerned. And uh, recently uh, the DWTC free zone in Dubai have recently announced the full regulations on uh, the adoption of uh, virtual assets, how it will be done. But what personally I feel it is very important for each and every regulator to understand uh, the user, uh, the user friendly <coughs> regulations which allow them to seamlessly comes on the exchanges to trade on different assets and they allow the banks to, uh, uh, to allow these crypto exchanges and the users to freely transfer the assets and their uh, funds from one exchange to another. That's where the real regulations will work going forward. So that's where our view is that each and every regulator who's coming out with the regulations, they need to take care of their own centralized banking system also that they allow the banks to follow these regulations. Because we have seen in lots of countries that European Union have came out with the full regulation, but still the banks are not supporting uh, the crypto exchanges wherein the scalab scalability model over there is much lower as compared to what regulations they have announced. So we need to see what uh, each and every regulator is doing, India being uh, one of the largest uh, populated country, I think going forward they will have uh, that mass adoption in crypto will come from these countries like India and, and Africa. But uh, even India announced that they have brought 30% taxation on uh, cryptocurrencies. But what we personally feel that uh, they need to be very clear on how these 30% taxation will be working on and rather than that they should have came out with a uh, a uh, transaction tax wherein each transaction is taxed rather than a 30% taxation is, is uh, placed on the user when they are trading on these uh, crypto assets. So that's very important for regulator to understand this whole crypto industry that how it has evolved in last five years and going forward if you need that institutional play to come in the crypto industry which has started slowly and gradually, it should be user friendly regulations going forward to have that interface and that regulations in place wherein a small retail user and a large pension fund or institution can come on board them on, on the uh, exchanges and they can seamlessly trade and the banking supports them. So that's what we feel that uh, the regulation should be in place and we need to see how uh, these all regulators are coming uh, forward on uh, different regulations and that's, uh, that's what our view is. We are a cross-asset trading uh, platform. It is very important for uh, every user to have that option to switch between different assets. What we have seen in past two years after going live and after going live for the retail three months back, that each and every trader is hedging their positions when they see that markets are down. We have one pairing which is gold and Bitcoin. So that's where we have seen the maximum traction coming in last two years, last two months wherein this, uh, this whole war which is going on Ukraine and Russia, there is massive volatility on gold and Bitcoin which has happened. The maximum trade and maximum hedging what we have seen on our platform is on the cross asset platform. And we personally feel that when regulator are announcing these regulations, they need to take care of these cross asset regulation more if they feel that there should be a mass adoption on these exchanges wherein more and more users should come and trade on cryptos and they should have the proper regulations on CFD trading of cross-asset uh, futures. 
we are a full stack exchange wherein we are, uh, uh, I think there are many exchanges which just have a matching engine and at the back end they are taking multiple liquidities from different partners, but DIFX is a full stack uh, exchange wherein we have the whole compliance system from day one. We follow that AYC, KYC and AML law. We are one of the largest KYC and AML provider from European Union who's doing the check on that. Up on above that, we have one of the largest uh, chain analysis company from uh, US who is doing each and every, uh, they are monitoring each and every transaction which is happening on DIFX that uh, any criminal activity is not happening and even if we see that any criminal activity has happened on our exchange, we are notified through this uh, company and we give it to the authorities. So I think when regulators are thinking of coming out with full regulations, they need to see, they need to check and they need to follow all these regulations that how the exchanges are working. I think 80% of the exchanges don't have their chain analysis system in place, they don't have these nomination programs. So it is very important uh, for every exchange going forward to take care of the users and to work on KYC and AML if they want to comply with the regulations which are coming. And that's where we see the major institutional play which will come in place. We have our own token which is a utility token which not only works on the spot crypto side but it has a utility on the whole cross asset system. Uh, we have seen that uh, all these utility token of exchanges how they have done in last four years wherein largest of the largest exchanges have shown 50, 60 X uh, valuations in terms of uh, their token launch and the prices now. And what we feel that DIFX token will have a utility not only on spot cryptos, but it will be having a utility going forward on multiple assets, wherein the volumes are much more as compared to cryptos. If you see the commodities, we have more than $900 billion volume happening daily basis. We have stock and derivatives wherein we have more than 7 trillion of volume happening on daily basis on fiat and stock indices. So that's where we feel that as a cross asset exchange, we will have more utility in terms of our token. I am open for uh, any questions, uh, anybody on uh, the regulations or on the nomination program or on the exchange, please I'm free for all the questions. Hello, thank you for the uh, overview of your project, um, Jitan. I uh, just wanted to find out, uh, do you offer uh, leverage trading, futures products, uh, as well as spot assets? Uh, can you come again, please? I'm just asking, do you offer leverage trading or futures products yes, as well as spot? Yes, absolutely. We offer leverage trading. We have uh, leverage trading on our MT5 platform wherein uh, there are different leverages which are on commodities, forex, stocks, indices, and futures on perpetual futures on crypto, wherein on Bitcoin and Ether, we have more than 20x leverage, but if you see the gold, we have more than 50x, 75x leverage. But what I recommend to our clients and users that uh, what I have seen that they, they don't use that much leverage what we offer, but the normal leverage which is being used is 20, 30x max when there is massive volatility. And uh, that's what the leverage I have seen. But yes, we have the leverage more than 100x on different asset classes. And uh, on all your uh, various instruments, um, how do you determine, let's say, the funding cost, funding cost, or funding rate for the various instruments? So if you see the funding rates, which are the swap charges, if you see the crypto exchanges, uh, what funding rates they have on the perpetual futures on cryptos, there are few exchanges, I won't name, but there are few exchanges which charge you swap charges or interest charge when you take a position which is every eight hours. But on DIFX MT5 platform, when you trade, we have swap charges which is every 24 hours and which are much lower than what they are charging every eight hours on cryptos. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi. Uh, can you please explain about your, these nomination programs? Yeah. Uh, what you, is it only available in your platform, or uh, particularly all the other exchanges are also adapting in UAE? As so, of now, the way we are doing it is only available on our, our uh, on our platform because we are doing blockchain-based uh, nomination program. Mm -hmm. There are few exchanges which, which do nomination program, but they are not nomination as such. They have a manual process wherein they write that. If anything happens to the user, they need to put a request and then manually they will check and they will 
give the solution. But what we have done, we, it's a proprietary software what we have made in last one year, wherein everything is blockchain based. When a user onboards on DIFX exchange, they come, they will have an option on web, they can, they can start the nomination program and they can nominate up to five family members or friends. Wherein you, when you nominate, uh, there is a request goes to uh, the nominee, nominee, wherein they need to come and onboard on DIFX and they need to do their liveness check and they need to complete the KYC. And that's where the per they will not come to know how much percentage a nominee is, is giving to the user, but they will get a notification that you have been nominated by user one and uh, if, if anything happens to you, there is a whole process which we have given uh, on our website that how the claims will be settled. And in each jurisdiction, there are different uh, programs, different regulations on nominations, which went live in keeping all the regulations in place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and Hello, Mr. Jitu. Hello. Uh, my name is Siyab Salam. I'm the managing director of Passive Income Investments. Yeah. Okay. As an investor, the first thing comes into the mind is investing money. Absolutely. Okay. So, does your platform provide account management facility or something like that, copy trading? Yes, we are. Uh, we're having two products which are going live uh, in coming two months, which is social trading. And uh, we have the bot trading wherein you can assign bots with different, we have our in-house proprietary bots which are going live in coming two months wherein you can assign your own strategies and your risk taking abilities. And accordingly the bots will trade on different uh, assets. And we will be having a social trading platform going live in uh, Q3 wherein we are inviting all the large fund managers across the globe to come on our platform, use their strategies and our users on DIFX will have an option to copy their trades with certain percentage and you can use that. Okay, with thank their you. Strategy. Can thank you, you tell me the bots percentage per month can be? As of now, we have been doing it in our prop book since last two years and on an average, the returns which comes is roughly, on an annualized APY, it is roughly between 20 to 60% annually. So that's what returns we have seen. If we are hedging it 100% and if we are going unhedged, the returns and the risk taking ratio is much higher than. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hi. Uh, good morning, Mr. Jitu. Good uh, morning. This is Vineet here. Yeah. Uh, want to check, uh, maybe I missed the initial part of your presentation. Uh, currently, you are regulated by uh, which regulation? So basically, we are uh, we, we are multi-regulated right now. Uh, we have different uh, licenses, different companies across. We are based in Singapore as a tech company. We are in Cayman Islands as a virtual asset license. We are in Lithuania as an exchange. Uh, we are in St. Vincent's as a full-fledged uh, license for the exchange. We, there are multiple licenses. As an exchange, what we feel that uh, as a crypto exchange or a virtual digital asset uh, exchange, you cannot rely on one regulations and going forward we have different licenses which are coming. We have recently uh, met DWTC free zone also wherein uh, we have met them and understood what regulations they are coming and we have applied over there. So whichever regulator comes in and we feel that the regulations will help our users and as an exchange, as a cross asset, we can give the product which is needed to be given to our users, we'll be filing that applications. And by next Q3, we will have more than six licenses coming from different parts of the world. So the, the coming regulation in UAE, yeah. it will be ESCA regulated or some other regulation? So basically there are two regulators which have announced, one is uh, the DWTC and one is coming in DIFC and both will be in sync with ESCA. So ESCA will be the ultimate regulator but they will have their own different regulations and but it will be monitored by ESCA. Yeah, because they mentioned that uh, all the like crypto providers or whatever uh, categories they mentioned will be regulated uh, jointly by uh, ESCA and uh, DWTC. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what coming no, in. A central there. bank and ESCA. Yeah. The central will be ESCA, but uh, there will be different rules and different uh, regulations of each free zone and regulator. Okay. One last question. Please. Uh, your nomination program, yeah. obviously, the new users can do it. 
existing users can also do it's it. It's open right? for all the existing users who are there on our platform and for the new users. It's, okay, it's, okay. it's open for all. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we are done. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you very much.